Good afternoon, everyone. It's Lisa. Today is Thursday, uh, about noon. So I hope you're having a good morning so far. I'm going to take another crack at this. Okay, this book is complicated. I'm trying to just go piece by piece without overwhelming. The, if you've already got the book, uh, page 17, or wherever it says, what is the definition of time? which is it towards the beginning. This is a quote from Corey Good. I just posted a, a nice review of support of his book, his new book, Ascensions, Ascension Chronicles. But anyway, he said, all dimensions are local, just as time is local within them. Local meaning our local system, our solar system of uh, 10 planets, okay? Gravity is pulling in space and space starts piling up on itself and comes to a termination point. What does that mean? Space is 3D, third dimensional. Fourth dimension is time. So there's a direct correlation in terms of energy waves and frequency between 3D and space and gravity. So the gravity, just a second, that's coming up. Gravity creates space-time. Now that's a new concept. The scientists always struggle with what is gravity. <clears throat> I remember one fella saying it's air pressure. I don't think that, I mean, I don't doubt that it's air pressure, but I think it's more than that. It has to do with the cosmic web which is time and how that puts pressure on 3D in the third dimension. Little electromagnetic multidimensional eddies, microscopic twists occur and they spin down toward the center of the earth. As soon as he said that and I heard it, I, that's DNA, okay? And that makes sense. DNA comes from the local universe, from asteroids and stars and things changing and blowing up. And it turns into matter eventually. That's what creates time and gravity and our experience of time. It's local to our planet, this little time bubble. Within the time bubble and the eddies, it's like microscopic rain. Within those twists are other dimensions. In some of these dimensions, time is traveling backward and faster or forward and slower. Now, I found that really interesting because in the Zulkin, one strand is going into the future and one strand is going into the past. So everything that's DNA, made of DNA on every single planet embodies both the future and the past. If you look at the Zulkin, right in the center, this is a 2D representation of the Zulkin. If you look right in the center, you'll see the black dots that look like this and this and this. It goes up this. So if this, imagine this 3D or 4D, it'd be spinning. So that's the double helix, you see? So those are called Gapkin, galactic activation portals, which I'm pretty sure are the sugar ribosome backbones of the DNA. My point is, is that in our bodies, in our trillions of DNA cells, I just showed you that in the Zulkin, is time, uh, the past and the future, okay? down the middle of our bodies in the earth is the axis of the eternal present or what we call timelessness. It's really important to meditate brain and spinal cord, brain and spinal cord. The brain and the spinal cord of the human being holds timelessness. There's many species in the universe that do not believe that we need to age or die has to do with the mindset. 
and meditation, you need to focus your mind, pay attention to the timelessness in your cells that's already there. In fact, I just read another article that, that many physicists have seen that there is no time outside of gravity and space. It, but we are eternal as well, is my point. Okay, so finishing this. There's other realities all within the little twisting space time right now. So what he's saying is there's other realities within DNA. That's huge. Okay, we are quantum. We're quantum entities that don't have to end. But you have to do it. You have to take, turn everything off, which is all the programming, the media, TV, anything you're doing, and sit for at least a half an hour meditating. Okay. When you meditate, it sets and aligns your feelings and your thoughts so that you start to become aware of positive, at least, or at least neutral thoughts and feelings that are setting your frequency. That's what you're doing. The ELM or electromagnetic field of the earth interacts with the cosmic web, ley lines, and different energetic areas are activated at certain points on the planet. When things are in a certain position in space, planets and stars, it activates that little region and it's a time portal. I've known about the time portals for over 30 years. Take another little detour. In the dream spell, it's a really old version, again, 35 years old. It's got the list of time portals. There's four polar kin, on the planet, yellow sun, red serpent, white dog, blue eagle. They're up at the north polar zone, which is the crown of the planet, receives information from the cosmic web. There's the cardinal kin. They are about 30 degrees north on the planet, also in the north polar zone. Red dragon, white world bridger, blue monkey, and yellow warrior. There's core kin or heart people who are heart-centered, they're at the equator. Red earth, white wind, blue hand, and yellow human. There's signal kin, which is your stomach area, the solar plexus of the planet, and the south polar zone. White mirror, blue night, yellow star, and red skywalker. Then there's the gateway kin that are at the very bottom of the planet, like where Antarctica is. Uh, the south polar zone, 60 degrees south. White wizard, blue storm, yellow seed, and red moon. The time portals for those kin are located in specific spots on the planet. And it's just it's like a general grid. You can see the general grid there. That's an entire portal. So the planet is split into time portals based on our DNA. These kin are actually amino acids. So when we talk about DNA, our bodies are made of 20 to 22, depending on who you're talking to, glycoproteins. There are over 200 amino acids total in the whole pantheon of DNA. But not everything is made of protein as we all know. So Corey made this statement on a YouTube video. I just want to note it here at 16 minutes called, um, the video is called Truth Quest, episode 21.5, October 26, 2020. So that is that section. Then it's important to understand as far as time goes in the mind system that there's 13 tones of creation. Those tones are not equivalent with our scale, our 12 tone scale, and then the 13th tone being the octave. This kind of a vulgar representation of the 13 tones, but I'm still researching and writing a book on that. But this is just a quick idea. It's in the book, you can see it there. But those are the 20 tribes of time. So that's how the tones look. Let me see, they look the same, dot and bar when it goes to 13. We use those dots and bars to also talk about 
the um, tribes. So all 20 of the proteins or tribes of time that the Maya left here also are dot bar and there's 20 of them. Okay, you can see how those, it's uh, original the way they wrote things back in the day. So let me just name really quick the 20 amino acids. Alanine, arginine, aspartic acid, asparagine, cysteine, glutamine, glutamic acid, glycine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, proline, serine, threonine, tryptophan, tyrosine, and valine. Those are all evolving. It's a no-brainer. All those amino acids are all of our food. If they're not in our food, they're inherent in our body so that we don't necessarily need it to eat food. But those amino acids are completely evolving and changing. Now, much of the time, they can get solid and enter into the nucleus of every DNA cell of your body. However, the more dynamic process that the scientists want to ignore, unless they're making a vaccine to control you, is the RNA, the ribonucleic acid. They used to call it junk DNA because they can't control it, because they can't splice it, they can't manipulate it, they can't program it. Although they're trying to, they just tried to with the vaccine. It was an mRNA vaccine. You know, probably know my opinion on the vaccine. You need, the point of my book is you need to program your RNA yourself. You can program, there's all kinds of proof now. The power of your mind, working out, changing your muscles, drinking tons of water, um, your mindset all literally changes your, your RNA. Now, I heard Greg Bra Braden talk about this. He's a metaphysical new age guy, talks a lot. And he said DNA. So now we need to be careful. The DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid that's rigid in the center of all your trillion cells. The RNA is what keeps moving around. The RNA is what's having fun. The RNA is what is changing and mutating and cannot be controlled except by you. That's the whole point of this. And the RNA actually is time. So when you figure out how to control all that and get your mind straight and focused, you're in charge. You're making time your field of play every day, your time. Okay. I worked with Dr. Chavez, um, who worked in the lab with uh, Dr. Luc Montagne, who is the Nobel Prize winner for discovering AIDS and helping out with the vaccine. That's my friend, Dr. Chavez, who um, knows what I'm working on and has looked at it. We've chatted a lot and been in touch. I need to get in touch with him again, but his work and his papers are noted in here. And that's kind of how things got going. And I'm going to stop there. We're already at 13 minutes. And I, I'm only on page 30 of my book to discuss it. There's about 145 pages to this book. So that's it for now. And we'll just go bit by bit. Have a good day.